Porsche Cayenne 958. There's two ways to install our MagSafe charger. There's a down and dirty way, which uh, just takes a few seconds. You'll have a wire showing, but if you are uh, not inclined to, uh, you know, rip apart this console, then uh, this is the way to go. So to begin, uh, when you get our charger, it's gonna look something like this. Uh, we just have to make one uh, modification. And that is, uh, go ahead and pull off the uh, cigarette lighter adapter. And I might as well just stick that in here now. And, oh, <clears throat> always use ours or at least a 20 watt charger. So if you use a smaller one, uh, you'll, you'll have problems. But anyway, right now the wire comes out the bottom and we need it to stay up top uh, for this installation. So you're just gonna run it back through the top Run it through there. And now it's out the top. Uh, so open up the little cigarette lighter cubby place. Pull out the, uh, I don't know if this is an ashtray or if uh, you put your cigarettes in there. Anyway, pull that out. This is just gonna go in. You just kind of feel it, make sure it's straight. And then push it in nice and tight. Uh, so now you do have a wire showing, uh, you know, just route it however you think it's going to look the best. You just stuff it down here. And plug it in. And you are uh, good to go. So that's, that's the uh, down and dirty, got wires showing, but maybe you don't care. Alter alternatively... Uh, there is a chart in the 958, there is a cigarette lighter adapter, uh, cigarette lighter port down in the uh, passenger footwell. So you could take this wire, uh, you know, and run it out the back. You'd have less wire showing and you wouldn't have this in the middle. So anyway, that is the, the easy way. And this is the extended install. This way you will have uh, no wire showing. It'll look like uh, Porsche put it in your car. Uh, this is, uh, it's a little involved. You got to pull some of this out, but there's no drilling or modifications to your car. We're not going to, you know, break anything. So to get started, we're going to have to, uh, eventually this box is going to come out and this is going to come out. Um, the way that you get these out are pull the rubber mats out of both of them. Oops. Easier said than done. And both of them have a T20 Torx. This one has two here, and this one has two in the rear. You can see them very easily. I've already taken mine out. Uh, this one slides out pretty easy. This one is a very tight fit. You're gonna kind of get it up until it goes no farther. Um, and then uh, the way I get it is kind of dip down the driver's side, pop up at the, dr the passenger side a little bit, and then pull it out. Uh, I already disconnected my uh, cigarette port, um, but that just needs to be disconnected and then you pull it out completely. Uh, pulling it out, just be mindful of these clips. You don't want to bust those off and be careful when you're going like this. If you scratch this top surface, you'll see that when you're all done and then you'll be pretty annoyed. All right, to get in here, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and take this thing out. We don't need that. Uh, we're going to take the gear shift knob off and we're going to pop this up. And that sounds very involved, but it's not. This is the easiest thing you will do today. Uh, on the bottom of the gear shift is this little piece of trim. You just rotate it 45 degrees counterclockwise. And we're going to pull up, we're going to slide the gear shift up. Uh, when you do this, do not depress the button. And when it's out, don't depress the button. So if you leave it out and your kid comes up and starts squeezing on it, uh, it might not go back in. So just go ahead and wiggle it out, pop it off. Uh, so this, leave it popped out. Just put that aside. Then uh, we just need to pop this trim up a little bit and just put your fingers in the cubby and just slide it up. It comes up really easy. And we're doing that because we want to get the center piece out. 
And this is gonna be uh, so we can see what we're doing in here. So the unit's gonna go in here. The wire's gonna come around the side. It's gonna go through this tunnel, come out here, and we're gonna plug in in the box. So your unit's gonna come like this. Let's go ahead and just take the cigarette light adapter off now. Might as well plug it into the box on the inside. Uh, only use ours or another 20 watt uh, charger. Uh, anything else, um, you will probably have errors. What will happen is you'll put your phone on, it'll charge for five seconds, it'll shut down, and then it'll start charging again in five seconds, and it'll just repeat that pattern, and then you'll email us and tell us this is broken. And the reason why it's doing that is because if you're using a low power charger, or even if you use an adapter and use the USB port in the car, they can't supply enough power. So what happens is they sense too much current, they shut down, they start back up, they shut down and use getting it in the cycle. So please use that. Uh, go ahead and set that over here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the trim up for this part. And we're gonna go in with the wire and you'll see there's a little slot. You can probably see my finger sticking out here. And we're just gonna go through there. And I always come back on the passenger side. I don't know that it matters, but I can tell you I've had mine on the passenger side for about five years now, so no issues. Uh, you can see that the shifter is pretty much contained in this uh, housing. So as long as you're on the right side here, uh, you know, you're not going to bind anything up. There's not a bunch of linkages or something here. So stay on that right side as low as you can. Uh, obviously stay away from the middle because you will uh, bind that up. So, uh, you know, I usually leave about a foot of cable on this end. Uh, you can see this is plenty long. We're going to have a lot of le left over, so no need to uh, pull it all the way through. It's kind of nice if you ever have to, for some reason, get in there, you can still pop this out without disassembling the whole thing. All right, to get through this tunnel, there's a bunch of insulation here. So you're going to need... You're going to need a 12-inch or a, uh, about a 6-inch screwdriver. And we're going to come in the tunnel from this end and get it in the tunnel and you'll see as you get in the tunnel the insulation that's right here on the back back end of this housing is going to start to move and the lower the higher that you can get the end of the screwdriver the better so i basically got mine uh push forward and now I have an access to this tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out, get it out of the way. Uh, however I end up doing this, just make sure I'm going to have, you know, I'm still coming down this side. I haven't like gone around or twisted or, you know, gone back through here because that's obviously not going to work. So in your little opening, try to face it back. and then just feed it through the tunnel. Always easier said than done. And my little opening has popped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it again. Give me a little more breathing room here. And it's still not going, so what I'm actually going to do is, I should have done this first, is just put this trim back down. It's going to give me a little more room for my hand here. And let's push that 
insulation for it again. I mean, ultimately, if you couldn't, uh, you know, this just fails over and over, what you could do is use a fish tool or um, just a piece of stiff wire, tape it onto this, and then get it through. But I think I can hear it coming. This is one of those things where you're going to get it on the first try or it's going to take you 20 tries. I believe this is my third try here. All right, we're going to go for four. All right, so fourth time was a charm for me. Go ahead and get her through. I'm gonna leave, you know, 12 inches or so on this end. Route it over there. And then through here, when you lift this up, you'll see that uh, you have an access here. I don't know if you can see my finger. And over here, this I've always used this one on the passenger side. Uh, seems to have more room. Get that under there. Definitely leave some slack here because remember that cup holder is gonna be in here. So as long as this can get pushed down to the bottom, it'll be enough room. And for this box, go ahead and come around. And Porsche has so nicely cut a little hole in the bottom for us so that this can plug in here. All right, uh, if you wanna do a quick check, Make sure you're all good. You got power. We didn't bust the cable or anything. All right, we're ready to put this all back together now. So doing my last wire check here. Get her on the side. Very happy with that. And we'll go ahead and put this back in. You know, nothing should force when you're putting these trim pieces back together. So if you try to put this in and it's not going in, don't jam it. You'll probably bust the clips off. And I take the excess wire from this guy. Just kind of fold it into the box. So I'll have clearance. And this guy's just pressure fit. You just push it in. Good to go. Get me a little more slack over here. And our shifter. So don't depress, don't depress that. And putting this on is uh, one of those things too. It could take you two seconds. It could take you 20 seconds. So uh, there's just a bunch of different notches in there that this gets hung up on. And then there's grooves on here that need to line up. So um, that went on really easy. Usually I don't get it that easily. Uh, once you're all the way seated, test your button. When you do, when you just saw that I seated it. And when I seated it, it pushed the button out a little extra more. 
um, which is normal. So when you first click it, it might be a snap. It's because it's just getting back into place. So uh, make sure it's all working and then go ahead 45 degrees clockwise to lock it. It's not going anywhere. And this guy, plug her in. I get the uh, lighter part in first, get this half in, then twist around. Get this half in. On this, if you want to keep your little uh, uh, pad here, you can kind of loop it off to the side, slide it in. Then you have a little mat in here still. Uh, put your screws back in. I'll do mine later. And there you go. All set.